Alright, I read... that sailing from Wonderland is the easiest path. So I'm just going... That this seems like the easiest, so... I'm just going to take my assault and just modify it. So I'm going to grab the assault. Let's take off all the thunder gummy, thundera gummies. I should have plenty of Fundaga gummies at this point, considering how many I've gotten from Chess. Yeah, like, I've gotten six. I probably could get more from Sid. Actually. Uh, is that the limit I can place? Well, I guess it sort of is, so I'm going to save it under A2 as an Assault 2. And I want to fly this gummy ship. I'm going to try my boost best not to boot too much. So I'm going to set up from Neverland. Uh, not let Neverland. Wonderland. And, and as you can see, the fun there gummies are kind of crap. Yep, I just have to kill 55 enemies. Although this will not be easy because the Thunder Gummies are a pain in the butt. Like, I've already lost... Okay, I'm going to try my best not to boost. As you can see, my... Alright, I'm not doing too bad so far. I'm hitting X like it's the fire button, like it's Kingdom Hearts 2. Because that's what the fire button is in Kingdom Hearts 2 for the gummy missions is... Is, uh... Is, uh... I probably should have looked at the guide sooner. Oh, come on! It's Let's Play's great, it's choked. Yeah, because I can't just spray and pray. I have to actually time my shots for when these when the enemies are coming near me, so too bad actually I probably should have put the life gummy on just in case I died. Look how pitiful that range is. Ugh. You know what, I'm putting on the life gummy on the thing. Just to make my life one, like a gajillion times easier. Because I'm... Apparently I haven't learned that. I don't even have the boost on this thing. so I can't go faster, although that's probably for the worst. So I'm gonna put this thing on and call it a day. So it looks like I did use it after all. And you know what they say, never say never. How did that not hit? Seriously. Did you see that? That, that didn't hit. Uh, that didn't restore anything. Thanks, so I'm really... Up crap, up crap creek without a paddle. Well, at least I don't have to kill very many enemies. All right, it's, so far I've. Oh come on! <sighs>
Why am I not getting health up pickups? Come on, give me health pickups. I need health. Okay, so I used my life. Oh. All I have to do is kill 50 enemies. How hard can it be? Okay, I hit at least 55 enemies. And there we go. Hallelujah. 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 There we go. Ace pilot. Now we gotta go in deep jungle for one specific purpose. Yeah, sorry for what happened in last part. Granted, I could just not upload it, but eh. I think I, I gotta make up for not messing up against Possessed Riku somehow. Because that fight was way too much of a joke. Anyways, we want to go in the jungle because there's actually a minigame we haven't done yet. So you want to climb these vines and you want to interact with this flower over here, this yellow flower. So, oh, oh, it just gave me the trophy outright. Well, well, that's that. Now we can finally set foot in the end of the world. Okay, I am also a lot stronger than I was last bar. You can see that Goofy is practically immortal and. And although it's kind of hard to tell, but Donald's MP is a little bit bigger. Here, I'm I'm going to regret doing any of the hard stuff off screen. So this So this is where we're going to spend the majority of our video. Welcome to the end of the world. Well, that's this world's name. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... This is a heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. Anyways, it's the end of the world is pretty desolate. Oh, here's one of Frieza's death balls. Oh, so we have a new enemy. These are the invisible. Oh, and we're gonna be summoning Tinkerbell right away. I also finally got the Blitz ability I've been mentioning periodically for episodes. Play. I thought I got it sooner than what I got it at in Shield Path, but maybe I'm just faking. These are really hard enemies. They like to protest and pester you with projectiles. And the Shadow Flare things, which is what I'm going to call that move, are kind of annoying. And actually, these things aren't very threatening at all, but sometimes they like to go invisible, invincible like that and just buzz off. It's kind of annoying, actually. 
and they have a chance of dropping Yale, one of the last synthesis items. And luckily, we don't have to dismiss Tinkerbell. Well, this chest contains a Mithril Shard. Alright, and this chest contains... A trap! Yeah, this game is finally pulling the monster in a box that every RPG pulls. I wonder if stopping these things would help any. Looks like I'm getting a lot of gales, which is good because I'm going to need some of them because I'm going to need them to forge to synth, I think. Dang. Dang. That contains a pretty stone. I'm not too sure what the pretty stone does, really. I think it's just a thing you can sell. I probably should have looked it up. I meant in that box is a mega potion, which is always useful. And in this chest, there is a monster in a box. So I'm gonna turn up my audio, so... And more specifically, the behemoth. Or behemoth. I mean, I know I really don't need to summon Tinkerbell, especially considering the behemoth isn't really too threatening, but... Uh, this one looks a bit different than the one we encountered in Pile of Ashton, but still just as easy. That's what Blitz is. It's a very strong move. But everything is strong with the Divine Rose Keyblade. As you can see, I'm practically immortal now. That my HP is so big. I'm what I think I'm in my 60s at this point. I don't know. This thing is still easy, so beat the crap out of it. And it drops a Mithril Shard. Alright, that in that chest there was a Mithril, so. Oh. Here's another one of Frieza's death balls. Oh, uh, I don't know what these enemies are called. I'm going to use Bambi to get my, give me a little pick me up. This chest there is a mithril shard. We've already have tons of those because I I fought the the pot scorpion off screen. In this chest there is a monster in a box. Goofy's AP went up. I might give him empty rage if I don't if I didn't give it to him already. Yeah, I wonder if I can stop these invisibles. Okay, I can stop them, but for how long? Probably not long because my MP is actually they stay stopped for a respectable amount of time. In that chest, there is another pretty stone. Um, in that chest, there is a cottage. Uh, 
Uh, hold on a second. Looks like the pretty stones aren't used for much. Which I want to get that chest. Maybe I can once I get to this one. In this chest, there is a monster in a box. Uh, so many use me. Oops, I accidentally summoned their shoe. Summon Bambi. They probably do need to summon Tinker Bell. Now, considering how hard I hit, I'm honestly a little bit over leveled for at this point of the game. But honestly, that just means a faster part. And in that chest, there is a Gale. But I think I. Actually, that's probably not true. I probably have some. I need gales for a lot of things, so. In this chest, there is a monster in a box. Uh, so, I need these things to drop a lot of gales because I need them for the ultimate weapon. I'm gonna be simply because, yeah, that's a requirement. I still haven't gotten the Defender shield you can get from the Defenders, or the staff you can get from the Magicians. In that chest, there was an AP up, so you know what we're going to do. I honestly probably should sell the arts for money, but honestly, they don't sell for very much. Uh, what do I want to equip, actually? I guess I could equip Strike Raid, or Stun Impact, but Stun Impact isn't too useful well, anymore now that we have Blitz. I guess I'll put on a Tech Boost and a Combo Plus. Uh, what do I want for Donald? I definitely want MP Haste. I don't know why I don't have that equipped. Uh, looks like he doesn't have enough for Leaf Brace or Second Chance yet. Well, looks like I've been ignoring Goofy's abilities too. Uh, MP Rage. Rage, Second Wind. I think I'm done. done. And that's all this section of End of the World has to offer, but this, this is just the beginning of End of the World. The End of the World. There's another one of Frieza's death balls. Also, there's another behemoth. Give me strength. Behemoth, so. Uh, looks like this one isn't immune to magic because it just took damage from Donald's gravity. Yeah, but I'm honestly just going to stand on the back of this guy and button mash. Yeah, 
Ash, and that's all she wrote. Looks like I'm getting a lot of money for, uh, or lit mushrooms, which is a good thing. Anyways, the Fiend of Behemoth grants you access to this little area. Yeah. I wonder where that Ansa fellow went. Dive into the most dangerous place, we'll find them. Also, oh, I thought we could fly. Never mind. I must be thinking of a different area in the end of the world. I'm going to Cottage real quick. Yeah, I'm in my 60s now. So I'm a little overleveled for this part, and I'm probably going to be even more overleveled for the final boss. Because I'm going to be spending... have to spend a lot of time grinding. I thought that was a climbable place. In this chest there is a Meteor Staff, which is a Staff for Donald. I don't know, or a Meteor Strike. I'm not de-equipping this because it decreases Donald's MP and thus makes him less powerful. Well, technically it makes him less powerful because, you know... Oh, this area is massive. There's a lot of treasure here, like that. Although I think I can't get to that. Uh, maybe I can if I grab onto this ledge and glide. In this chest, there is a drill gummy. I don't know if that's too useful. That's more for. Uh... Oh, I thought this was climbable. Shows you what I know. Well, I'm probably just going to head to the bottom. Or maybe... Why a little bit more? There. I think that shiny thing does something. Or maybe it's just part, part of this world's flourish or something. Yeah, it's just part of this world's flourish. I thought it would be something special, but no. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to climb back up. I'm looking for treasure. This area is huge. This is one of the bigger areas in the entire game. Might reach it by jumping. Duh. Thought it had something insightful to say. Anyways, we want to drop that. I just used the cottage for absolutely no reason. And anyways, once you're ready, you want to head down the hole. And it's time for some beat em up sections because it's going to take us to World to be Party Ben, so... Well, here we are in Traverse Town. And once I get the ultimate weapon, I'm going to take on the Hades Cup in the Olympus Coliseum. In this chest there is... a spirit gem. And there's that easter egg again that I pointed out way back when. And anyways, once you deal with the Heartless, you want to head out the door. And you want to and you want to head on to the next section. And we're in Wonderland now. Huh! 
Uh, I really wish Don didn't do that. Now I'm going to be beating on this guy for a while, and he's going to stay stuck for a while because of Donald's MP. Well, at least he didn't stay paused for too long. Actually, I probably should be beating on this thing first. Yes, I'm one shining the stronger variants of these dudes because I'm just that over leveled. I also have good accessories, although I've been using the uh, experience combo, I've been using to help me gain levels that much faster. They still won't give me the staff. If anyways, and there's a thunder gem, which is really nice. That's one, because that's one of the things I need to set the ultimate weapon. I defeated the defender before I could get to my finisher, but that's because of my combo pluses. Again, like I've been saying throughout this entire Let's Play, there is no combo boost ability. So really, I'm just equipping combo pluses to make... I don't know, just to make combos look better, I guess, even though there is literally no skill. I'm just mashing X. I really wanted to choose staff for this playthrough, like I mentioned before, because it would have made this Let's Play a little more entertaining to watch. Uh, I mean, I'm sure this Let's Play has been entertaining to watch regardless, but... Like... Uh, are there any chests? There is one behind this one Spartan. In this, there is a frost jam, which is a pretty sweet deal, I'm not gonna lie. Those doors aren't opening, uh, are there any more chests? Mainly because I'm an ego kleptomaniac. And yeah, Kenya, yeah, you need to defeat all the heartless here. So here's another beat em up section. I actually need to go to Deep Jungle and get some power shards. Alright, those are the pink monkeys. I don't know what their name is. I've already forgotten. They don't show up in Deep Jungle anymore, but they also don't drop anything of worth. They drop Power Shards, but so do the Power Wilds. It looks like Goofy tripped on one of the bananas. Let's get over here! That's a bright gem. More Luna Bandits. I actually need to get the synth, ex synth items from these dudes as well. Actually, I don't. Probably don't. Trying to find the chest here. Let's see where can it be. Is it further down or? Oh, I thought that was a room transition. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so that's how it is. Yes. 
looks like Donald's defense went up. So he'll take less damage. And as you can see, Donald has respectable HP now, now that he has good accessories. Although I've been mostly giving him MP based accessories to give him more magic power. In that chest, there's a Blaze Gem, but I honestly don't need that. And so it was kind of a waste. It's a chest because I don't need it. Well, I don't need a lot of these synth items at this point, so. And, and oh, I wish I met my. my, uh. my fire spell to a shortcut, but it's alright. It's all good. And I got another frost gem in my max HP and MP window. Sweet. It's like a two for one deal. A very good one. I keep getting Fandaga rings thanks by these with these things, but I need I'm not getting it any the staff from the in that chest, there's an AP up, and you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give it to Donald! Yeah, I tricked you for a second, didn't I? Yeah, I don't exactly need any more AP ups. That's because I have mostly everything I need. I don't exactly care about critical plus abilities too much, nor any of the other abilities, so we're gonna feed we're actually feeding our MP boost to Donald, so we're gonna give Donald second chance. And I'm also going to remove Cheer off both of them. I already removed Cheer from Donald, so... Do I want to give Goofy second chance? Eh, probably not. Goofy's probably not going to take a big hit in any way. Oops. Almost in. Almost ignored you. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Uh, do I take up here? Nope. Um, so yeah, I actually gave one of my stat boosters to my party members. I know, the apocalypse is coming. I thought you... I thought I only cared for Sora, and it is true, you should feed most of your stat boosters to Sora, but in that instance, I just didn't see any... I just didn't see or want anything on Sora. If I want to use an ability for a specific circumstance, I'll just go for the effort of, like, unequipping abilities. Like, for Strike Raid for the, uh, Giga Shadows. Back in Wonderland. And, and that's probably the method I'm going to be using instead of Dumbo since the summons have gone pitifully weak. weak. Like when I tried to use him in that one instance. Since I probably should have used Strike Raid in that one part. But Strike Raid is probably the best thing you can use for the Giga Shadows though. Don't be like me, just use Strike Raid. Strike Raid is a thousand times better, especially with a strong Keyblade like the one I'm using right now. Uh, I can't fly, no, I've been betrayed, lied to, stabbed in the back. Where is the chest here? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Or that was a pot spider, or a barrel spider, rather. It looks like that that door literally just popped out of existence, like like pop. There he goes. Oh, uh, and that is a mighty shield. That is a shield for Goofy, and that might be the pet. I'm gonna put it on him just so he has more, you know, more. And 
and I think I go out. If I still see a pillar of darkness or hear a pillar of darkness, I didn't defeat everything. Looks like. Is there anything in here? Is there anything up here? That well, doesn't look like it. I swear this door was open earlier, but I could be wrong. Wait. The doors pop in and out of existence when you go into a combat section. I guess I go up here? There, the door just meticulously appears. Oh, that is so bad. I mean, I know this is a P, this is a PS2 game, and they had to take shortcuts to, because the PS2 didn't exactly have the greatest specs in the world. But oh, that looks awful. That looks like some kind of amateur enemy trick. This pillar still there? there uh, I'm probably gonna have to defeat everything in here again. <gasps> I mean, that looks so bad. That's not even. That's not even funny how bad that looks. That looks almost inexcusable from someone. Something like Square Enix. Like I know. Like I said, I know this is a PlayStation 2 game, and they have the cut corners, and there's cut corners in every game. Game, but it just looks bad. Like, seriously. Like, it just vanishes. I'm not doing anything to the video. It's just that bad. Man, what happens if I hit this pipe? Looks like I can't hit the pipe. What happens if I try to hit this thing? Nope. Oh, and there's a... Hey, what if I use fire on these logs? Logs. I'm just double checking everything. Looks like I can't jump up here, no matter how hard I try. My jump isn't high enough. So... Uh, now let's check this room again. Even though I already checked it twice. Let's check this up here. Nope. Let's check here. Let's see if standing on this charcoal will do anything. Doesn't look like it. Hey, jump up here. Uh, looks like this door is shut. I guess I could try hitting the doors, but that's probably pointless. and then jumping all over the place. This might be ha the, ha the one room I have to ignore. Because I can't find all the heartless. Or the one pillar. Hmm. You can't ignore... And this is the last one. It's the 100 acre wood. But no enemies here. Here, in that, in that chest there is a Mega Elixir. Uh, I don't think I have to defeat all the... All the, uh, Heartless. At least I don't think so. I hope I don't, because I am seriously struggling to think of a place where I missed. I might have to look up a guide again. Turn off my light.
All right. Let's start the game, and I also. Once born of the heart in darkness, the void of hearts ravage all the worlds, bring up the season. Seizure all, seize all hearts, and consumes the great heart. All hearts to be one, one heart to encompass all. Realize the destiny, the realm of kingdom hearts, the great darkness sealed within the great hearts. <sighs> Progen, progeny of darkness. Cut. Come back to the eternal darkness, for the light shall unseal the path. F seven hearts, one key blade, one key to the door, blah 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 blah. The door to darkness, seal the light, and shall pass the darkness, blah 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 blah. And once you get done reading that, it's time for more heartless smashing. Oh boy. Probably 100 acre wood again. Yep. I somehow predicted that. Let's drop another save. Anyways, you want to jump down this hole? Looks like I didn't have to do the Neverland section at all. Dang. Anyways, we can fly again. Also, I can't summon Tinkerbell, so this boss is going to be a little hard, but not really. The Charter Bog, which is this thing, what this thing is called, well, has a lot of health, but he's more bark than bike, really. Like, if you have any things that increases your fire resistance equipment, he's also a very vulnerable, he doesn't move, very easy boss all around. Just try not to die, and don't let the fact you can't summon, don't try not to intimidate you. Oh! Well. Uh, where am I? Because it's Let's Play's greatest joke. Wind. Let's try that again, but let's not die. And he can be stopped, but not for long. He didn't even stay stopped for a second. Yeah, but he's the chair bog is not very hard. I just kind of choked because. I'm the greatest choke of all. Looks like Donald healed me. Man, 
I might... If I fail again, I might upgrade the high potions. I'm gonna have to start upgrading the high potions regardless. And that was the channel block, very unknown. If you ask me. And we learned the ability Super Glide, which is basically an upgrade of Glide, but there's not real like, too many places where we can visit. This is mainly to help you with the, uh... With, uh... The Sniper Wild in Traverse Town. Anyways, you want to go down this hole. And you want to go down this hole. And you want to go down this one. And this one. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the final beat em up section. Oh, surprise! Ah, is it the behemoth again? Did you miss him? When is this thing going to stop? Threatening me. Hey, you're not even very threatening. You're an easy boss. boss. But of course, that I don't think that's it. That's just part one. Get ready for the longest beat em up section in this entire game, and I think I may have just wasted Tinkerbell, but I'm not too sure. Nope, I can summon her again. Anyways, it's time for the longest beat-em-up section in this game. And you want to summon Tinkerbell because you might die. Just a tip. Okay, although I probably should have summoned Bambi real quick for a little quick pick-me-up. But maybe I'll be fine. I've endured worse. Alright, so that's the second part. Our right, this beat em up section is nowhere near them. Uh, Tank is your best friend here. Here, so. I'll make sure to summon her before. Things get too hectic with Donald and Goofy constantly got dying. Looks like I got a Gale. Sweet. Hey, ooh, another Gale. Sweet. One after another. Well, not one after another, but I got one. Ooh! I am lucky tonight. Right. And so... Oh, I 
think this is the last section of the beat em up, but I'm also not too sure. Uh, are there any other Heartless that I could beat up while this guy is invisible? Nope. I probably should cast up up on him. And I'm one-shotting the Dark Balls now, because of course I am. I am over-leveled as HECK! Heck, and I'm going to be even more over-leveled by the end. For the final boss, because I'm going that... Because I'm going to be taking on the Hades Cup next part. But not before I get the ultimate weapon between now, this part, and the next part. That's probably going to take me a little while, because I need a lot for the ultimate weapon, but... The ultimate weapon, but... Rest assured, I will get it. You just have to wait. Wait. Oh, this beat em up section is so long. Oh, but it's almost over. Plus, I need Gales to forge dark matter, and I'm going to need some dark matters to forge stuff because I'm almost out, believe it or not. Even though I've collected basically all of them at this point. <sighs> you know that move doesn't do anything for you, right? You're just stalling your inevitable death. In fact, and take a chill pill and realize your life mistakes. Anyways, that was... was... Anyways, this is the final rest. As to beyond that door, and what is in this chest? A mega elixir. Beyond that door is the final boss of the game. So if I want to, I could just stop this recording and reco say next part is the finale, but I made too much progress, so... Also, there is one last special harvest in this game. And can you guess what it is? It is these are the Neo, Neo Shadows. They hit hard. Or they hit fast. And it's going to be one of the last things we do in this Let's Play. I'm going to be showing in this Let's Play. So yes, these uh, this is the last enemy you can find in the game. Really. They go underground just like the normal shadows do. But there's no real gimmick to them, unlike some of the special Heartless. So these are really easy enemies. Well, they're not real easy, but compared to the other special Heartless, they're relatively tame. I mean, they ended with something normal compared to what they could have done. Uh, they can also grab Sora's leg, but I'm not too sure what that's supposed to do. I guess that's supposed to leave you vulnerable, but it's really a time waster. Especially if there's only one of them left, like there is in this instance. What? I wonder how long they stop. Wait, can he spawn more? I guess they could spawn more when there's only one of them left. I guess that's what that's their gimmick question mark. Oh no. Look, is that they can spawn indefinitely, theoretically? Of 
likely. Anyways, they will drop a stormy stone, so you better fight lots of them. Don't forget this, this, this Tinkerbell, and I'll see you next part when I have the ultimate weapon.